Hello, everyone. Glenda Mollett here, and welcome to my craft room again. I'm back for the second time this week. And tonight, we're going to be playing with the May Paper Pumpkin Kit. This arrived while I was away, and I haven't even opened it yet. <clears throat> I'm just over here on Facebook getting this, hoping that this is working. What is up with this? Okay, I got to share it to my hey my group and then we'll get going man things are not working fast tonight oh macaroni anyways hello norma all right hi marcia so i have the kit i have the add-on let's see what we can create i forgot my machine <laughs> i forgot everything because i was busy reading about stuff in las vegas where i'm going in august hey valerie <clears throat> i had a much better day marcia thank you <laughs> got some sleep last night my eyeballs stayed open all day i was so excited <laughs> yeah yesterday was a trial i'll tell you okay so first of all first of all <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. There is an add-on coming for the June Paper Pumpkin Kit. Now, the June one coordinates with the suite in the catalog. Hang on. I have to get it out. It coordinates with Countryside. So, this is the June kit, the one that we you can still sign up for so it coordinates with this whole countryside suite see the colors this is in the catalog on page 62 so it coordinates with that <clears throat> and there's a set of dies that you can get and they're available now and they're only available while supplies last so i wanted to show them to you first before we get started in case you want in case you want the kit and or the add-on so you get three dies. They're $8.65 plus shipping and tax in Canada. And they're going to coordinate with the stamp set in the June paper pumpkin kit that coordinates with Countryside in. There you go. Okay. I'm going to put them back in here. So you can get them up until June the 11th or, or June the 10th or while supplies last. All right. Hi, Lena. Why am I going to Las Vegas? I'm going to play. <laughs> Stamping Up is having a, um, a demonstrator event in Las Vegas at the end of August. So I am going. Okay. Sorry. Nose is itchy. So there was a, an add on to the May Paper Pumpkin Kit and it's cards, extra card bases and coordinating envelopes. So let me show you these. There's three different styles. And you get, I didn't even count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, 12, 18. So there's 18 card bases and 18 envelopes. Now, these are not the ones that are in the kit. These are the ones that are in the add-on. And I'm sorry, I don't remember off the top of my head how much this add-on is. But I can look it up. If you're interested, let me know. I don't even know if they're still available. Hi, Carmen. Hey, Marlene. Okay, so I took out one of each of those just in case we want to use them. So now the kit. Now the kit. See, I haven't even opened it. So when they first announced this kit, they showed us pictures of the box that were black and white because this um, this kit uses new in colors or new colors. And they didn't want to show us what the new colors were until it was announced. So once the new colors were announced, then they brought out, they showed us a picture of the colored box. Isn't that gorgeous? The the dies, 
these dies, Marsha, they are a paper pumpkin add on. So, um, item number 163192, and they're 865 in Canada. I don't know what they are in the States, but if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, you can order them on any order. They don't come with the kit. You have to order them separately. They're they're an add-on, just like the cards, uh, bases, and envelopes. Anyways, what do you think about this box? Isn't that stunning? I think I'm going to keep this and use it for birthday presents or something. Hi, Janet. Okay, we have copper clay. Ooh. Okay, getting out my big one. So got my copper plate, stamp set, a boot, a mug, a compass, and some words. It says, happy birthday. Life is meant for good friends and great adventures. It doesn't matter where you're going. It's who you have beside you. And cheers to another adventure. Man, I could have used that on my recent adventure to England. It is pretty. I love it. Um, the dies are for June, Marsha. They coordinate with the June um, paper pumpkin kit. So here, look. Well, look what they send in the box. It just happens that they are sending advertising for the June kit. Okay, so it's called Welcome In. There's the add-on dies. And this is this is what it coordinates with. And this is the hint they're giving you at what the kit is in June. So now you have until June the 10th to sign up for that. And here's this one. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. <coughs> Opening up the box. We'll see what's in here. This is so exciting because I have not, I've not watched anybody that's done any unboxing or creating i did share some um alternative projects made by the stamping up artisans in it just a little while ago and they were gorgeous okay oh look can you see the cards there's card number one card number two card number three i love them camping season who doesn't love cards that are camping season related so who goes camping tell me in the comments do you camp or have you camped did you used to camp i love camping i would go camping anytime i could um those are dimensionals there's some linen thread Oh, look at these gorgeous envelopes. Oh, a buffalo on it. Valerie used to many moons ago. So there's number one. And there's envelope number two. And there's envelope number three. Now, oh, Norma, yes. Yeah, I knew you were a camper. Wendy used to camp. Janet glamps with a camper. <laughs> That's what we do. We go glamping. We don't go camping. So I've seen cards, um, those artisan ones. They must have used this part of the envelope to create a card. Because that looks awful familiar. So I'm just taking out one of each envelope. And we'll see what we come up with. Oh, my good Lord. Look. Just look at this. Look. Do you see that? That's one card. It's like folded in the middle. That's one. And here's two. These are stunning people. And there's number three. I think Norma's progressed to glamping too. Hopefully we'll be able to go this year. It's been a while. Marie, that's, I hope you can. Okay, so free stickers. I don't know what I will do. I'm not a sticker person, but you get free stickers. 
and some more pieces and there's glue dots so just let me get the glue dots and the dimensionals and put them over there there's the cardboard and there's the instructions all right hokey pokey well i know right away that i'm going to cut these and make layers out of them so i'm going to need some card bases so i think i'll do let's see what balmy blue i think if i re can re do the colors right boho blue okay so i'm going to get boho blue for boho blue for that one Okay, so that goes with that goes with that. And hmm. Mossy Meadow, I think, for that one. And this one is this one. And I'm gonna do boho blue for that one. And then this one. Um I'd love to use wild wheat. What do you think? Should we use wild wheat for that one? Yes, Carmen, I agree. I'm going to cut them and I'm going to make two cards out of each one. Okay. So I need some card centers. I need... I need, come on, boho blue and mossy meadow, wild wheat. Hi, Lynn. Wild wheat, yes. We have a couple of agreements. Okay, there we go. So <clears throat> these are insides. These are the bases. So I'm just going to, first of all, oh, find my scoreboard. It's hiding on me. So if you are enjoying my video, which is not that long yet. Um, I would love it if you would share it. Make sure you hit those emojis. And let Facebook know that you think my content is valid. All right. So I'm just, I'm pre-scoring the center of these because then you only make one score mark score line instead of two score lines. Now I'm going to quickly cut these in half. Hang on. One. Two. Whoops. Not straight. Not straight. Hang on. Oh, I just moved my paper. Dang, that, I think I can do that. All right, my ah, avalanche. Look what I did. I moved the paper and did a cut on it. And it's like, ugh, I hate it when I do that. It's all right. It's all right. Just gonna grab another piece. Cut it. And then we'll score it.
Okay. Got the bases. Now, let's take these pieces. And we're going to cut these down to five and a quarter. Now, if I do that, I'm going to lose most of that rock. Well, let's try that this way. That's good. Cut the top off. And make this four inches. Why is it crooked? Apparently, I don't know how to cut. Really? Oh, good Lord, people. You'd think I'd, I've never stamped and cut paper before. I thought I was wide awake tonight, but apparently I'm not. Okay, here we go. Hi, Nancy. That's okay. My camera is too close. Okay, close your eyes. I'm going to move my camera. Close your eyes. See if I'm lined up here. How's that? That a little bit better? I got quite the mess going on and I have only just started, but I need to make sure my camera is straight. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Going to cut this at four inches and then cut this at four inches. So there's two. And what color did I say these were going to be? I think this was the balmy blue ones. Or the boho blue ones, I think. I remember correctly. There we go. There's those ones. This one. I think I'll take the bottom off because there's lots of grass. So it doesn't matter if we lose a little bit of the grass. Cut that at five and a quarter. And cut this at four inches. And then Let's see how close that'll be to those buffaloes. No. Want to take off half and half. So let's cut that there and I'll flip it around. I don't want to didn't want to cut off too much of that side. There we go. So those two. And I think these were going to be that one. And then there's this. This is gorgeous. I am in love with these, but they are definitely different than creating your own fancy cards. So I know that Paper Pumpkin is not for everybody. But if you're going camping, or you're hanging out at a friend's cottage on the lake. These are perfect for that. Or if you've got um, you got family coming for the summer and you need something for the kids to do, get a couple of paper pumpkin kits or a kit and a refill. And they will have fun. They're perfect for camping. I take them with me all the time camping. Okay, so tell me. That one look okay on wild wheat. So that and that are wild wheat. And then 
this and this on Mossy Meadow. I moved it, Val. I'm I backed the camera up quite a bit. And then we'll use balmy blue or boho blue for the last one. So is anybody else <clears throat> is anybody else think that this camera is too close and I need to back it up still more? <clears throat> I haven't even looked at the instructions yet, you know. Let's do that because there's twine in these. Okay, the twine goes around that and goes there and goes there. Okay, so I can layer these all on to the bases. It's perfect and it seems okay. Sorry, Val. I did back it up a bit. <clears throat> Okay, get these all folded. And we'll get them put together. This is going to be the quickest six cards I've made in a long time. I probably should have taken Paper Pumpkin with me on the cruise ship. I could have sat and crafted with Paper Pumpkin. Oh, well, don't forget to hit those emojis if you're enjoying this video and share it. Hmm, I don't think so, Val, because I have my, oh, this one didn't score properly. I have my, my grid paper, and I usually show that much of the grid paper and not much of my working area around the grid paper. That's that one, and one more. There we go. Okay, let's get these on here. Get my handy dandy stamp and seal, and we'll get going here. You know what? I love this wild weed. It's becoming very popular in my mind. Look at that. Look at that. How gorgeous. Did they have craft time? No, there was no crafting on the cruise. Cheryl, there was, or Cherry Lane. Hmm. Hello. Don't recognize your name. Thank you for joining. There was no crafting on the cruise. Um, sometimes when we have land-based um, trips, there is crafting and stamping and stuff because there's more room in a land-based resort than there is on a cruise ship. There is very little room on a cruise ship to do anything because they've got activities going on on the ship all the time in all of their locations and they just it, there's just not the space to do any crafting so it was for me a full two weeks of no crafting oh and i must because i mentioned the incentive trip i have to say that Disclaimer, less than 1% of stamping up demonstrators earn the cruise. And I'm not, I don't say that to brag. I say that because it is a stamping up and direct sales rule that I have. It's a law. It's an actual law that we have to um, let people know that not everybody earns the cruise. I don't know why. I don't like saying it because it sounds like bragging, but I'm not. I'm just saying what I have to say to keep my demonstratorship because if I don't, they'll pull my demonstratorship on me and then I won't be able to do anything anymore. Okay, last one going on. 
Oh, Tracy, of course. Sorry. You were in Vancouver. You did. Okay, there we go. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. And it's only 25 after, and I've done a lot of nattering. <laughs> now I'm looking for the instructions. Because let's see what the act what I was actually supposed to do with these cards. Okay, so the one, this one and this one. I'll do this one the way it's supposed to be, and then we'll we'll go funky and do something with the other one. I'm looking for I'm looking for one of these. One of these. And one of these. That interests me. Oh, they did. I was going to say they only gave me two, but there's the other sheet. Never mind. Never mind. All right. I have blocks. I remembered the blocks tonight. Things are looking up in Stampin' Land. Happy birthday. Who doesn't love a nice happy birthday stamp? Clean it. Because you know you should always... Uh-oh. Why did I just freeze? You should always... Um, Clean your photopolymer stamps before you use them because they have residue on them. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> okay. Copper clay. Happy birthday. On this tag, hopefully relatively straight and over to the right hand side. Take that, and then we're going to put this one down. So this is, um, what's this called? Moody Mauve. Moody Mauve. And it, they want it here, like that. And then I need 12 inches of twine. Uh, I don't. Uh, they've kind of taken the they've taken the twine can you see it there they've got it right here and they made this big bow and it goes underneath maybe you can see it better in the in the front on this one see how they've kind of looped this big loopy bow I don't like that so I'm going to I'm going to get the amount of rib of twine that they told me to and I'm going to tie a bow, and we're just going to do something different with it. But we need to get rid of those twisties. You know that running it through your nails like this will get rid of those twisties, right? See how it's straightened it out? Let's see if I can tie a double bow. I might not have enough, but we'll try. I just feel like I, this needs to be a double bow, maybe. Maybe, if I'm lucky. So we decided yesterday that we are going to go to Quinell for Miss Maggie's birthday in a couple of weeks. She will be turning three, my little angel. Hey, this didn't tie very well. And we're going to go up there and spend the weekend with her. So I'm going to be canceling my my Monday Night Live. There we go. I've got a lovely double bow here. Okay. Now. Um, yes, this has dimensionals on it. Oops, some big ones here. But I will, I will let you know um, closer to it. So let's just do a dry run. Okay, have my our happy birthday, 
And then I need a set of binoculars. Three is a fun age. Okay, the binoculars are going to go on there like that. That's going to go straight like that. And then I'm going to have this bow. And I think I'll just tuck it in the top like that. Perfect. Perfect. What do you think? Let's get this in here like this. And then we'll put some pieces on the back of the binoculars. And we'll just pop them on here like this. And oh me too. It was it was completely up to Hubby if he felt like the trip or not, because he does all the driving and I do all the sleeping. <laughs> Yes, I admit, I am a sleeper in the car. Apparently, it is a legitimate form of um, motion sickness when you get in a car and fall asleep fast like that, which is exactly what I do. Okay, so I have a, a glue dot. This is one of the regular ones. And I'm just rolling it. And I'm going to put it on the back. Let's just see where I want this here before I go put the glue dot on. Yes. What do you think? You think it looks good there? Yes or no? Tell me, tell me. You like it there? Now, by rolling this, I made it small enough that it's not going to show in behind there. Hi, Karen. Oh, Nancy's a sleeper too. Snow much better than being. I just, I sleep. Oh, everybody likes it. Good. I sleep because then I don't nag Ted when he drives. Because he sometimes he drives like an old man and I'm, I'm a lead foot driver. And look at that. Card number one. Done. Boom. Envelope to match is right here. And we don't have to do anything to the envelope because they've, Started putting all the pretty on the outside now. Okay, inside. And let's put, let's put the compass on this one. Clean it. Oh, everybody likes it. Carmen says it's way better. Yay. I'm trying to find my ink pad because I buried it. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Stamping paper. Stamping paper. I was talking to some demonstrators um, on the cruise and Linda Dalkey from Australia says, I know you, she said, one of your customers watches me all the time and comments that she's one of your customers. So whoever that is out there, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Linda's a sweetheart. <clears throat> I did get to visit, meet some of the people that I have only known online for the past five years and it was really quite cool linda dulkey was one and elisa tilsner is another one she's also from australia and of course i got to visit with my friend fiona from new zealand from fifi stamping number one card done now this one what are we going to do with this one because i'm not going to have enough tags so where's the stamp set Let's figure out, cheers to another adventure. Get some white. Just happen to have a piece right here that looks to be about the right size. And yes, she's from Australia, Val.
She is from Australia. Oh, and I got to visit with Susan Camp Campfield too, which is Sue Stampfield stamping. She's the one that um, I do a lot of her cards. She's a fun fold creator. So we had a discussion about how she creates the fun folds and then I alter them and use them for my classes. Now, I'm thinking I should have moved that over. Let's see if we'll chop that off there. And then we'll flag this end. Let's see if that's going to work. And Ange McKay from North Vancouver chatted with her for a bit. Cheers to another adventure. Oh, look, there's a cup. Maybe we need to stamp a cup. Um, how about if we stamp it in boho blue? On a piece of white. Oh shoot, I didn't clean the I didn't clean the stamp first. See what happens when you don't clean the stamp first? It goes all funky. Oh <laughs> yeah. Sleeping is not all it's cracked up to be, is it? Sometimes sleeping just does not happen. Much better. Okay. I'm going to cut this out. We're going to use it on the card. And then, um, how about some twine on this one too? I'll do another, another bow because I've got lots of that twine. So if I run out, I can always replace it. Sorry. Apparently my fussy cutting is not up to par tonight. There we go. Just about done. So one more day left to register for my cheerful daisy class. Registration ends on I don't think I like that what do you think are you feeling the the mug or not What do you think? Yes to the mug or no to the mug? Aaron says nope. Marie says nope. Anybody out there else out there got an opinion on whether we should use the mug the mug or not? Oh, Val says nope. Guess not. There's a shoe. Maybe it's the color. We could do it in a different color. Sometimes I don't get the the ears long enough to do anything with here. I'm trying to do my bows.
too big for the card front. Mug on the inside, but the mug either a bit higher or lower. I think it's too big. You're right. It's too big. Okay, so how about if I get... <laughs> Some moody mode. Get some moody mode now. How big is this? This is three quarters of an inch. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. I'm cutting this down. And we'll kind of kind of mimic what we did on this one. See this here? Put that on there like that. So I need to do it. I need to cut it right about there. Snip, snip, snip. We'll put that like that. And then we'll put this on here like this. And we'll just kind of mimic what we did on the other one. And then we'll add the bow. I'm thinking this needs to be this way, though. See, this needs to go in here like that. So I need to, I need to restamp that. I'm searching for a piece of cardstock. That's not cardstock. What's that doing in there? Barely me. Oh, hi, Debbie. Memorial Cup and Camelots between volunteering, watching the game. At the fan zone, my time disappeared. Oh, well. Oh. Apparently, my. My. Uh, What's that thing called? Chamois. Duh. My chamois dried up while I was away. Thanks. Debbie says, glad you're back on the airwaves. Yeah, it was. I was away a while. I don't know whether we're going to have time to finish these cards, but, you know, it is what it is, right? There. Then I can put this on here like this. This cup is still too big. Don't like it, but that's okay. We'll just use this. Oh. See what happens when I get creating? My craft room fills up very quickly. We go. I think I can peel these off of here and reuse them. Nope. Got carried away with them. So we'll just 
use these two. Come on. Cut my fingernails today and I can't do anything. There's that. And I need a glue dot. It all rolled up and on the back of the bow. And trim the tails. There we go. So um, one of the tours that we did in Norway on the first day in Haugesland, we visited a Viking um, Viking village, and it was the coolest things. There we go. Card number two. We're, I don't have an envelope for it. All this, and I haven't used, I haven't used these things yet. Hmm. Oh, I didn't do the inside. So we went on a bus to this church that was like, centuries old we couldn't go in because they were having a a function in there the day we were there and then we got to walk into they're doing um an archaeological dig where the um They're, they have an archaeological dig beside the church because they were searching for, they suspected there was, what was it, another room or something. So they were looking for this specific thing when they unearthed a completely new unexpected rock wall that turned out to be over 20 feet long. And so they started excavating it and they have discovered the foundation of a complete Viking house right beside the church. There we go. Card number two. Okay, moving on. Card number three and four. Um, and, you know, in in Canada, if there was an archaeological dig, it would be all roped off and you weren't wouldn't be allowed to go anywhere near it. We could walk right inside. They're like, it's all covered. They built a, a building over it because they're excavated year round. And yeah, Norway's very cold. <laughs> Take my word for it. Norway is very cold. But we were allowed to walk down inside this excavation and you could you stood on a platform and looked down over the side and you could see where they had their cold room that stored all of the um, their food and how they kept it cold was it had water running through it. So it was the house was built on a creek over top of a creek. Because they use it for, um, nope, this one. They use it for um, bathing and cleaning up and keeping their food cold. And they there was even like a dungeon in there. If you were bad and the police got you, then that was where they threw you in this little tiny, like it was maybe three foot by three foot square thing. It was amazing. And then we went and walked around the outside of the church for a bit. And then we hiked to, to um, an actual functioning 
Viking farm that is run by this big Viking dude with his long hair. He was so cute. And he explained um, how Viking um, farms worked. And they had this great big building that was shaped like an upside down boat. And it turns out it's a building for um, storing their boats with the masts up. So when they were being attacked, they could get their boat out real fast because the, the walls of this boathouse He said there was three pegs in each wall. Then you remove the three pegs and the walls collapse down. Like they're peaked up like this. So they're round and they're peaked. And they let go of these three, um, they're not bolts, they're like wooden peggy things. And the walls fall away and the ship could go out. It was amazing. Okay, now I need 20 inches because they want me to, they want me to pen 20. Good thing I got lots of this twine because I think I'm going to be using it. Got to wrap this twine around here. Oh, why is there so much? Holy macaroni. Only needed half of that. That's kind of a waste. They said only do it twice. Okay, so what if I... Let's just see if half of this is going to work. This half might not be long enough. I think I can tie a bow with that. Sure. Okay, I'm going to cut this in half because that's way too long. So he, he explained all the workings and then we got on a boat, like a passenger boat, and they took us back into town. And then we got to have an authentic Norwegian soup lunch, they call it. Scod, S C O D D. And you could have um, fish scod or um, meat scod. Well, you know me and fish, so I chose the meat one. And they had buns and um, some meats and cheeses to go with it. And it was quite yummy. And then there's a museum downstairs, so we got to see the museum. It was an amazing day. And then we all walked back to the ship. So that day, we had over 16,000 steps. All right. So I wrapped that twice, and I'm going to attempt to tie a bow. Let's see if it will work. Because there's not much twine left. So that was our first stop in Hugginsland. Hugginsland? Hugginsland? I don't know how you pronounce it. The people are very friendly. Okay. This bow is not looking the way I want it to look. Just got to do some tweaking. There, I'll just go with that because I can always um, retie it after it's on the card. Oh, are you getting smoke? Oh, that fire in Sayward is scary. It is right above the town. 
on the hill that we did our hiking on when we were up there camping. I feel then it's growing and it was man-made too. Okay, so this is up on dimensionals and it goes right up to the top. Oops. Right up to the top. Right about there. Like that. And then this goes over top of that. We just put a little bit of adhesive on there. Now is that straight? Nope. There we go. Ta-da! And just stamp the inside once again. Your bow challenged. <laughs> Nancy, bows come with practice, unfortunately. And if you don't want to hand tie them, make yourself a bow tire. They're really easy to make. And if I wasn't so lazy, I would have got up and walked over and got my bow tire. But it doesn't work for something like that because you have to have, can't be attached to anything when you tie the bow. All right, goes the inside. So sometimes I think I'm going to stop getting paper pumpkin kits. But then I think, well, no, because I want I want to be able to share them with my people. This one? Yes, this one. So then I go ahead and get them. And then we get together once a month, and I get to show you how to create pretty cards. There we go. You have a bow jig? Oh, arthritis in your hands? Yeah, that sucks. All right. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Okay. So that that will be card number three, but I want to go on and make the final one. And then I'll go back if we have time. So this is the front. And we need a compass. And we need one of these. And we need one of these. Okay, so this. And it doesn't matter where you're where you're going, it's who you have beside you. Okay, let's get this stamped. So, if you like this month's kits, let me know in the comments what you think of this month's kit. Do you like the fact that these are all pre-printed? And all you have to do is add them to the card front. Or do you, are you the type of stamper that likes to make, create their own cards? Do you like kits? Okay, so this goes, is supposed to go here. And then this goes on there like that. And then I'm supposed to put. 14 inches of twine wrapped around in a, can you see where they've done the twine around in behind that thing there? I don't know whether I want to do that. Marie likes it. Yeah, it is a nice kit. I agree with you. It is a nice kit. But as I've said before, kits are not for everybody. But you know, every once in a while, if you just want to sit down and create a card and not have to be creative, not have to think about it, just be able to just go for it. Sometimes it's nice to be able to do that. Okay, so this goes on flat. 
uh, about there. Let's make sure it goes straight though. Of course, it's crooked. Mm -mm -mm. Come up. Every once in a while, I try to get a kit class together, but so far it hasn't worked. All right. That's too big. Let's try three fingers. <laughs> I just can't do that. I like doing the stamping, but the kits are great when Mojo goes. Eh, they are, Wendy. You are right. They are. They're good to grab when you don't want to have to think, but you want to craft. See, I'm so bad at these type of things. I do like that in there, though. Okay. Where did I put my glue dots? We're going to go with this. We're going to pretend that I'm spontaneous and I can do random. And then we're going to put two glue dots there. And then we're going to put that there. And then we're going to put that there. And then we're going to do that. Let's see how that looks. That's fine. Then some dimensionals. And we'll put them on the ends. I was looking for my little garbage can. I hit it. Oops. <laughs> Let's not put the sentiment upside down. You know, I like this down a little bit. There, what do you think? Carmen says, I sure do like them. I was only going to order one paper pin pumpkin kit about five months ago, but since then they keep coming up with more and more beautiful kits with them pre-stamped. It makes it a lot easier for making them away from home. You're right. What do you think? You like it? Okay, I have to put the, have to put the uh, compass on here. Goes up in the corner. Like that. So I just need to put a little bit of adhesive down here, hold it on, and then I'll pop a dimensional under the corner of it. To hold it on there. Do you put things on your cards and then pop the dimensionals underneath once you have them on there? Or do you put your dimensionals on first and then put it onto your card? I like putting it on the card first and then putting the dimensionals on because then I know where they're going. There we are. Ooh, ah. String is not nice. You don't like my string, Wendy? There, I spread it out a bit. Okay, let's stamp it inside. <clears throat> Valerie says it's cool. Carmen likes it. Wendy likes the card. Wendy puts hers on first and then adds. Carmen usually first, but sometimes need to. Oh, you guys. You all put your dimensionals on. How do you know where to put them when you're putting them and you're only going to be using it for part of the 
um, part of the image. How do you know where to put it if you don't wait till you get it on the cart? I'd like to know your thought processes. My thought processes don't go there. Okay, this is going in. Look, and this is on wild wheat. Look at how nice that looks. Holly, if you're out there, this one is for you. I know you don't like the wild wheat. There we are. That's cool. And this is the other one that I will make later on. The, the string is redundant. Is that what you're talking about? Okay, so now I'm going to get rid of these pieces. I'll pull one of these out. So this one is completely different. So I need a I need a copper clay base. A copper clay base because I always put these on a base, I never put them on. I always cut them up, so I'm going to cut this off. Got to do this, make sure it doesn't move. So this is the full size of the front, like that. So we'll just look at how pretty this is. Like, what else? You, all you need on here is just a happy birthday up there in that corner. Maybe some Wink of Stella. Now, I have seen people are taking these and um, making them into fancy folds which is really cool. I didn't use any Winkostella. Oops, I stored my Winkostella upside down. That's never a good thing. Let's just add some Winky to the trees. Because you know, a little of sparkle always makes the world go round. Some little dibs and dads down the center of these ones. I'm getting a little carried away. Why am I singing? I don't know. <laughs> so these will be fun to create cards with. Oh, look. Can you see the sparkle in there now with the shimmer and the shine? There, you just see it. Turn it face down, and you can tell where to put the tape and the dimensionals. Well, sometimes yes, sometimes no, Nancy. Depends on on whether you're centering it or not. But if it works for you, go for it. Marie doesn't like wild wheat. The more winky, the better. I agree. So then I would just put, where's that happy birthday? Perfect. Now I would probably do this in blue, but make the river glitter. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm going to do this in boho blue. I just feel that this needs to be boho blued. And I'm going to stamp this. Like that. And then I'm going to cut it. Uh, 
I'm going to cut it. There. Hang on, I'm coming. I'm just cutting that. I'm just cutting that happy birthday. Ah. Dang. Hang on, I'm coming. Sorry, this is taking too long because my cardstock is not cooperating. Ah, mamma mia. All that to cut that, I tell you. Then this is crooked. there and then that will just go on there and this end is crooked too <sighs> did i tell you we went to see Ma we went and saw mamma mia while we were in london a live professional production of mamma mia and no, I don't want to leave. Why would I want to leave? Um, a live professional production of Mamma Mia. And it was amazing. But it taught me, because I've never seen a professional musical before. I've seen the one a cup before COVID. Um, we had our local production company did Mamma Mia and I had friends in it and we went to watch it and it was amazing but I didn't realize how amazing it actually was until I saw the professional one and the one here by the Port Alberni Portal I don't know, Society or something was just as good as the one we saw in in London so kudos to those. And my friend Louise was in there. There we go. Does this card need anything else? I think not. Just the inside. And I want to stamp it in blue, but I cannot because, oh, we can do a blue shoe on the inside. A blue shoe. It was incredible, Valerie. I was very happy that we went. I was very happy that we went and saw it. Put a blue shoe on the inside and then Um, this one. This is the envelope. So I'll just put a compass on here. <clears throat> so you get the idea. So this is the add on kit, extra cards, and envelopes. Now, I'm not going to know, excuse, oh, excuse me, we're not going to know until next week if there's any refill kits for this paper pumpkin kit, and I'm not sure, hang on, oh, pardon me, I'm not sure if there's any of these add-ons left, so when I get this one put together, I'll go and have a look and let you know if there's add-ons left. There we are. 
perfect happy birthday. Wendy's granddaughter was just in Mamma Mia in Victoria Teens and Teen Production. It was fun because it was my kid lot. Yeah. Mamma Mia is an amazing play. I love the movie. I love the play. Thank you, Valerie, for blessing me. Okay, so just let me just let me pop over here. And I'm going to search for the add-on to see if the add-on is still available. Man alive, this is taking a long time to make. One six three one 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 six three one one three. Okay. The cards and envelopes are still available. Number one six three one one three and they're thirteen seventy five and you get eight card bases so even if you don't have the paper pumpkin kit you can make you could make these cards even without a paper pumpkin kit because they come with the bases and they come with the envelopes and you just saw me make one use any sentiment so and of course bling oh I was going to put a little bit in the water So there's our cards. I think that's it for tonight because I'm starting to sneeze and my nose is starting to run. Let me just get all these cards. It is a really pretty paper pumpkin. Look at all these cards that we did. These two I still have to finish, but you know, pardon me, my nose is running. Oh. All right. There, I can talk again. So, um, have you guys been hitting those emojis for me and letting Facebook know that you like my you like my video? Oh, you have. Oh, look at that. I got ten of them. Thank you so much. Oh, are you going to take it camp? Oh, have you got your trailer set up, Norma? It is a great masculine kit, Wendy. And you are very welcome. Look at these cards. I think I am going to probably be making this kit with Blake when we go visiting in a couple of weeks because he loves to make paper pumpkin kits with me when I get up there because he gets them every month. He gets the add-ons. Because that's just something grandma does. I do it for the local kids and I do it for the northern kids. And then Blake loves putting them together. What a beautiful array of cards. Thank you so much. Good night, Lena. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm busy with classes all day tomorrow, but I'll be back Thursday night with a fancy fold for you in my VIP group not on my page oh aw, nice you've had a whole month of local camping that's awesome norma you're very welcome everybody thanks so much i hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow and i'll see you thursday at eight o'clock pacific time for a fancy fold fancy fold but in my vip group not in not in my page you have to come to my vip group to get that and the measurements of what to prep will post tomorrow so that you can get them prepped and you can craft along with me. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon in my craft room. Good night, everybody. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now. <laughs>